Yeah. Well, these are quite the rigs, ain't they, bud? <laughs> Told you, bro. How, how are you going to make a decision on which one you're going to keep? The subscribers. The subscribers. The people who watch the channel. Dude, I like it. So let's dive into some details on these two. So you've had the Sprinter van for a little while, right? Yep, year and a half. Year and a half. To put it through its paces pretty good. Yeah, recently more than ever challenging it, being more comfortable in it and putting it to some work. Yep. What's this ambulance doing here? Well, you know, I went and picked it up in Washington for a buddy, and he's like, hey, I just think you would do so well on your channel. You know, you're a retired firefighter. You go to firehouses. And I'm like, yeah, you know, that would be cool. Like, And then he's like, you know, why don't you build it out? And I was like, you know, that is a good idea. But I've been running in this so long, and people love the Revel. Yeah. And then I was like, but I can get into this, build it how I want it and be out of debt in like less than a year. One well, bunch of details on the Rebel. We'll, we'll give you a couple in this video. But you gotta check out the other videos to do interior, exterior, walkthroughs, that kind of thing. Let's check out the Ambo though and give us a little walkthrough of the outside. Yeah, eh? let's do it, let's do it. All right, all right. Right now it's just pretty much a regular ambulance. It's a 2001 uh, E450 chassis with a 7.3 liter diesel that only has 50,000 original miles, which is insane. To find something with that low of miles, especially a 7.3 from 2001, it's kind of the unicorn, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. So, uh, with that being said, the box on it is uh, from like the mid 90s or something, but I just thought it was a really cool idea and like, you know, it already had an awning on it because it uh, was used for a rehab unit. So it didn't actually transport patients or anything like that to the hospital. It was just when the firefighters would you know, they'd park this on scene of a fire, and when they'd come out, they'd go sit under the awning, cool off, you know what I mean, get some beverages and stuff like that, and if they needed to go inside to the AC, they could do that to cool off. Mm -hmm. So it was never an actual transport unit, that's why the low miles. But it's got a bunch of really cool exterior compartments. You know, they blacked out the lights, because whenever you have a sell to a private party, they black them out, which I kind of like it. I'm like, yeah, I murdered out lights. <laughs> Yeah, those are nice. So just a standard cab in here, you know, not too much different than the actual, just when they ran it. Yeah, pretty much E-Series van cab. Yeah. The exterior compartments on ambulances are so cool. They've got all these struts, all this diamond plate, and they've got lights on them. And every, Phenomenal. And every door is like insulated inside. They're insulated under the diamond plate. You know, it already has an awning on it. Oh, this is one of the coolest parts about an ambulance is the exterior storage and then that button i think i'll show you in a little bit there's a button on the inside you can hit and it locks everything yeah no that's that's legit too legit to quit too legit to quit the old 73 diesel only what another compartment so many little compartments eh then you got the double the old barn doors in the back yeah that's nice that's really cool. So you're gonna, if, if this is the rig that's chosen, you're gonna put a bed platform here so you could open, that's one of the coolest things. You could enter in that door, open this up and have a nice, nice breeze. Nice breeze, yeah. Yeah. Max fan, maybe an AC up there. Obviously but. vans are like this too, side entry and these doors, but um, this thing's a lot wider than the van, I think is it one is thing. It is super wide, yeah. I'm not even sure how wide it is. I probably should measure that. It's probably eight, eight and a half even. Yeah. Your van's probably about seven. Would you say it's bigger inside? Absolutely. It's got more space, right? Absolutely. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Ooh, that AC is nice. I'm gonna close this door so we can keep that cool in here. Wow, boom. Super strong, huh? Loud. Yeah, everything in here is just like, so I can't fully stand, but, but I, I could cook, 
I could change, I could do everything that I would want to do standing other than like fully yeah, stand. Yeah, right. You can fully stand though. Yeah. So how tall is the roof then? Probably 6'1". If you're like 6'4", and you can't stand. Oh, I'm, I'm like I think I'm like 6'. I don't know, wait, <laughs> I haven't. Yeah, it's right. about It's about 5'10", I think. 5'9", yeah. 5'10". <laughs> you were being kind. I was like, I'm not 6'4". <laughs> <laughs> but so cool. So. These things come like super built out. Obviously you want to do some changes, but um, what's your plan? I mean, this storage is so nice already. So if I, if I, if they decide that they want me to use this, then I'm going to build it out to more of a camper. And I want to keep a lot of this because I like the like industrial look. Yeah. So I might try to mix, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. camper and industrial look. Then the cabinets, I just want to like, I mean, this thing was built, the box itself was 1998, and it's on a 2001 chassis. It's lasted this long, like there's nothing you can do to make it any better, other than just pretty it up a little bit, you know? Yeah, and make it more homey. Exactly. We were talking about, you could even tint these, like a dark smoke or something, so you could still see what's inside them, um, but not like your clothes and your, your undies the right there for everybody. Look cluttered, yeah. yeah. Um, but I've seen you done some work here. So what, what's going on? You got well, this thing you know, out? It had a, a thing in the middle there blocking the pass through. Uh -huh. And whether I do it or not, my buddy was gonna take it out. So I'm like, I'll just take it out for you, you know? And this storage is pretty well taken so, care of. And it's all adjustable. Um, yeah. Fr fridge will go on the bottom over there. I was gonna say, and yeah, so fridge in there. From that inside and outside. So that'll be a tasty little treat. If you're gonna get a Domatic fridge, be sure to type in code down to Bob on Domatic.com for free shipping. Yeah. Just saying. I think that I'm gonna do a full queen size bed about this level right here. Yeah. So it's just underneath this uh, window. That way I can still use the garage mm -hmm. underneath, mountain bikes and underneath and stuff. Right now this is only two wheel drive, but it'll be converted to four wheel drive. And then it'll be like a minimalist build out on the interior mostly going for like mechanical and off-road capabilities with this thing and if i keep the revel because I, i'm building this to do the similar thing that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna improve the ride put a little lift on it bigger tires some rock sliders since my nerf bars are all damaged now we crunched those good today so that's gonna be a separate video i don't know what i'm gonna title it like beating the crap out of a sprinter van know, like right? but honestly it did fantastic and i was amazed today my perspective on sprinter vans changed yeah. and you did a great job driving it though man it takes someone who's willing to put it in the situation to really see what yeah, it can you do you can't be scared just do it yeah and this then uh, cool. just some like um stuff underneath to protect yeah. it you know what i mean so 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 okay one feature i want to share with you guys right here that you you showed me last time door locks so obviously every every rig has you unlock and lock all your doors not like this. This unlocks and locks every single exterior compartment, everything. So before you go to bed, you hit that lock. Safe and sound. Peace and quiet. Mm. All them, secure. Them bed bugs ain't gonna bite, you know? <laughs> um, but what else is there around? So, I mean, so we'll get, well, this will be like the kitchenette right here. And you can see there's already some pre existing holes. So that's what will be cut out and put the sink in there. Trash. No. Right. That's, that's what it was actually, yeah. Really, was it? Yep, yeah. and then that hole right there was for to turn on the oxygen bottle in there. But that's where I want to put my water tank, like a tall skinny one, yeah. 30 gallon, and make it an outdoor shower and everything yeah. there. Yeah, now that you've taken this out, you can pass through to the cab. It's super sealed up here though, can't hear you. I know, right? It's very insulated, this whole thing. It is, yeah, and you can see like even inside the compartments, like, Completely aluminum built with all spray foam insulation. Yeah, aluminum frame. That's what's so cool about these ambulances. Now they do have miles of wiring in them and that's, whoa, yeah. bonk, yeah. That's one of the things that like, could be intimidating for someone to build an ambulance and that's, you just pointed back here. That's yeah, what I want to show the people. Up. Open that thing up. Watch this. Woo! So we just need to put a new solenoid in. No big deal, it's just one of those. <laughs> There's just a wire loose. It's just a relay. <laughs> uh, it's no big deal. You can figure it out, right? No. 
So what's your plans with that rat's nest if this does get voted uh, you know, everything as works. the rig? Everything works, so it'll just be a matter of swapping out lights to like LEDs and stuff and pretty much keeping it all because it's all operational. I think you have the right idea. People that, and I did this with my Sun Raider, I ripped it all apart and I had this grand intention of doing this huge build. But you don't, I think if you do flooring, roofing, bed, Yep. Some nice touches to make it feel like home. Make sure you have enough power. Fridge. Yeah. You're good. The basics. And if you guys decide you want me to run out of the ambulance, tell me why and what you would do to it. Yeah. Give me some ideas. What do, What would you do to the roof, the ceiling, or the floor? You know? Yeah. I mean, I'm going to be able to put a queen size oh, bed fun. in there. Fire extinguisher. Yep. Or it can hold a bottle of tequila or something. <laughs> a gallon, of course, you know. Your NOS, you know. <laughs> NOS. That's the nice. side entrance. Nice. And then it has a little compartment here. And that's so that you can access that from there. Hear how hard all the doors slam? Oh, yeah. Like, there's no doubt you're going to know if your door is closed or not. Yeah. With all these struts, like you said. Yeah. Sucks them in. Sucks them in. And then another one. Jeez another Louise. Tall, another tall boy. This is for all your fishing poles and your skis yeah. and your snowboards and and uh, uh, posters. Uh, your um, uh, other uh, things for activities. I don't know. Uh, two by fours. Uh, Ladder. Uh, what are other tall things? Put your bop it you in there. You could put a lot. Oh, you could put your bop it. Not the extreme though, but the original is long. This the extreme is too hard. It's See, I have hard. a clip of me playing the bop it. Maybe we should. That. Maybe we should put that in. Put that in right video. here. <laughs> Anyways, back to the show here. Sorry for the bop it shenanigans, but we love bop it. All right, so we saw the ambulance here. Any other details on the ambo? Um, you know, I'm gonna, I mean, you have a ton of details on your channel, but this is just quick. Yeah. Any other important things? You know, gonna do a separate solar, uh, put a, a rack up here on the roof so it's at an angle and we'll hold the solar panel. And it also is gonna help deflect the wind. And then I wanna put like a real nice rack on top so we can kick back up there, maybe throw a pop tan up there and you know, that yeah. little penthouse suite for that... when we have guests. This old gal had a workout today. Man. Dude, I was seriously impressed. Yeah, she did work for sure. So you like the Revel? It's a it's a good rig. So what does it have right now for tires? It's got BFG. The 275. 275. So they're like 31, 32s almost. Right about 30. Yeah, just below a 31. Just below 31. So if you keep this, um, if this is the one that the subscribers decide, you're gonna go 35s on this, huh? 35 is gonna do the Van Compass lift on it. Mm -hmm. and then that'll be able to get the 35 inch tires in there we're gonna throw some skid plates all around it i need some uh need some new uh nerf bars and some new sliders after after today's run huh yeah right and after your last run yeah <laughs> so good. mostly stuff to protect it other than that that's the downfall of if the revel's chosen i can only do very few things because it's so expensive and my budget won't allow it mm-hmm so so that's something to consider is the revels gonna is a lot more money long term yeah the ambulance uh is less upfront cost mm -hmm. the revels ready though the ambulance needs built a yep. lot of things to consider it's fun man yeah it's a fun it's fun. fun uh predicament to be in right yeah it's yeah. A, you know it's a little nerve-wracking everybody else choosing for you but it's like yeah let that decision be made yeah i'm excited yeah so we got about a week left or so before I tally it all up and I'm taking it from Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, you know, YouTube. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So make sure you're subscribed to Happy's Trails and comment and let them know what rig yeah, you think. Tell you me pick. your vote, why you're going to choose that one and what you'd like to see done to it. Let's yeah. make it happen. Make something cool. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> and feel free to comment on this video, of course subscribe man we i think we just hit a hundred thousand subscribers i don't know when this video will be posted but super stoked and glad to have you guys here um so hit up my patreon too if you guys really want to support the channel i'll have that link below and i mean i think i don't know i think the only question is are you down to my Woo